Which is more important guys, mindset or tactics? Stay tuned. Hey guys, one well, welcome to you. All right, so we're in this era now where mindset is a real good focus for traders. Many traders recognize that they need the mindset, they need to have the discipline, they need all those things to become a good trader. And actually we're in a great era for it. So much good content out there, so many people now who are very experienced in able to help traders, maybe they come from other sectors, maybe they come from the banking industry, hedge fund industry, sports psychology industry. There's so many good people out there that have got books, that have got content that help us as, as traders that we just didn't have kind of 15, 20 years ago uh, in the markets. You know, this is something that's real, really got a lot of traction. Maybe it's because of the environment as well with mental health and what have you. So that's great. But I see a lot of traders focusing on that only. They're like, I've got my mindset right, I've got this right, I've got the other right. And then you look on the other side of the coin, on the tactical side of the coin, and you've got many traders who are focusing solely on getting the next strategy. And they think if they can just get the right strategy, the profitable strategy, then they don't have to worry about the mindset because all they've got to do is execute the strategy. But what both of these traders fail to realize is that you absolutely must have both. There is no trader out there who has made a good living or an exceptional living for themselves if they don't have both and they're both working on both at the same time. So let me explain why it's important. So if you look at tactics, so your strategy side of stuff, like how are you going to trade for the week, for the day? What setups are you going to use? Are you going to kind of buy a bull flag? Are you going to, what are the actual intricacies of when you're going to pull the trigger, when you're going to execute? You know, what's your plan for the day? Are you going to trade in the morning? Are you going to trade after earnings? How are you going to, you know, the broad plan, what market's going to trade? In risk management, the control, because of course you can have the best strategy in the world, but if your risk management is off, and you're losing the trade, you end up wiping out four or five good winners and it doesn't make any sense. So this is all kind of some of the things under the tactics umbrella. And you must have these. You know, if you don't have these, you're never gonna execute. You could have the best mindset in the world, but if the strategy has a losing expectancy, uh, playing roulette, for example, let's just use it in a, a complete probability format, playing roulette, that's got a losing expectancy over time. Play enough occurrences, you'll lose all your money. That's just a fact. Uh, you might have ups and downs with it, but that's just the way it is. So you can have, you have the best mindset in the world, but ultimately you're going to lose your money. And then if you look at this side of stuff, you know, the mindset side of things, so the confidence to keep going, the determination, the grit, when things are down, let's get back up, keep pushing forward, keep moving forward. You know, the belief that if you keep with the process and you keep getting the experience in the market and you keep in the game, that things will improve, all these kind of things. We need to go through every single one of them now, but the point is, is that if you have the best strategy, you won't have the confidence to stick it out when it has a drawdown. No strategy is 100% effective. So let's say you've got a great powerful strategy and it's drawing down or it's not quite looking right. Maybe you haven't got the belief in it. You haven't got the belief in uh, the determination to stick it through. And then you might end up missing out on what is the most profitable trades of the strategy that makes it uh, the winning strategy for the year, or whatever it may be. So you absolutely have to have both. And whilst we've got these two different things and loads of facilities for traders now, you've got this copy trading type things where you can literally just go literally all I want is tactics all I want is to follow a good strategy but then if you haven't got the confidence in it you might end up not taking the trades if it's drawing down you might not have the belief in it you need both guys you need to have a strategy that works for you you need to be confident in your ability to execute that strategy you need to have the belief in your ability as a trader to deal with setbacks to deal with all these things and the big point of this guys is that you have to allocate time to work on both. Now, sometimes one's gonna be better than the other. You know, I get many messages from you guys that say, listen, I've got a great strategy. It's working really, really well. I'm just struggling with this aspect of my mindset. I'm struggling with this aspect of my discipline. And so you recognize like, hey, this is okay. I now need to work on this and build this back up. Other people, it's a rarity, it's normally the other way around, but other people are saying, hey, you know, I feel like I'm, I'm pretty good and disciplined, but I just don't really have a, a strategy I feel is, is, is any good. It doesn't seem to work for me. And so they're trying to build those up. But that's how you win, guys. You win by building both up at the same time. You work on one a little bit, you work on the other a little bit. You work on one a little bit, you work on the other. You know, don't 
fall into the trap of just going, hey, mindset, 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 and worrying about strategy later. Get your strategy sorted out, work out your trading plan, all your risk management, all the work that needs to go into that to get that right, and then you can work on your mindset or whatever way you wanna do it. But having them both and nurturing those and watering those plants is the most effective way of improving your trading, rather than just focusing on one or the other. So they're both super important, guys. Make sure you nurture them, because if you nurture them, they reward you over time. Take care, see you in the next one, bye-bye.